Formula One, Sebastian Vettel starts then on pole position for the 46th time in his career. It's lights out, and away we go. Ricardo got away well as a staller at the back. It looks like the Toro Rosso of sights. Sebastian Vettel leads them into turn one, followed by the Red Bull. Kimi Raikkonen makes it into third. Danny Kimiak gets a little bit squeezed. Lewis Hamilton ahead of Nico Rosberg. Rosberg being pressurized there by Valtteri Bottas. Bottas, if he gets good traction, might get Rosberg into turn five as Vettel now leads Ricardo, Raikkonen, Fiat, and Hamilton and Rosberg, who does stay ahead of Bottas. There's another great start from Nico Hulkenberg in the Force India. Already made up a few places and we stream now through and onto Raffles Boulevard. And uh, Bottas then uh, very close indeed to Rosberg. Rosberg parking his car in the middle of the track down into turn seven. They were all very cautious, very cautious indeed. Oh, oh. and almost Sergio Perez running into the back of his teammate Nico Hulkenberg there. How they managed to avoid each other, I do not know. It's Max Verstappen who's running at the back. Carlos Sainz did manage to get away. It was his teammate Verstappen being cheered by the fans but being pushed by the marshals. He will not like that at all. Fernando Alonso is up into 11th place. Has to what be it? said, look at the lead that Sebastian Vettel's got so far. And when I say look at the lead, imagine it. You barely saw him in the picture there. He is already streaking clear of Daniel Ricciardo in second place. It's, it's back to 2013 all over again. He's that far clear, but this time he's in the red of Ferrari and crosses the line to Sebastian Vettel with a lead over Daniel Ricciardo of three seconds. One second for each mile of the first lap. He must have carried five miles an hour more through that final turn as well so much confidence this is where we remember Vettel and his championship winning years isn't it just straight on the pace incredible there it's really struck me how much the drivers are tiptoeing and little grip there is out there and that's uh, Perez did an incredible job not to crash into his teammate as Verstappen finally gets away what a shame because he's been exhilarating exceptional three abreast going into turn one see who that was they did well not to uh, smash into the back of Verstappen's Toro Rosso uh, that was Grosjean yeah and who is that going across the curbs it's Looked a, like two it's a force McLaren. and a McLaren yeah. and then more contact after that oh we would have done it's the scariest moment when a driver stalls on the grid because you're totally unsighted and there then is Perez doing a magnificent job <laughs> of somehow through sheer willpower, not wiping out his teammate. Hamilton's in relatively clear air, relatively, but he's 1.2 slower than the leader per lap. 1.5 it was in qualifying. Obviously, Vettel has a totally clear track, and he's built that five, 4.7 second lead, but uh, no stunning pace. And the, the amazing thing about the Mercedes, they got out of the car after qualifying. We have no idea what happened. The car felt reasonably good. And still today, we come in, don't we, into the track? Yeah. We don't know what happened. Tell us what happened. Is Vettel starting to get some tire degradation? Has he pushed, did he go out too hard, too early? Mm. Uh, Ricardo starting to come back at him. Yeah, even the first sector, less than a tenth of an advantage for Sebastian Vettel, which might suggest that the traction wasn't great uh, coming out of turn five. Round the first corner has the undercut work for Lotus. Alonso is just out ahead of Roman Grosjean. But Grosjean, though, on warmer tyres, on the soft compound tyre, might now have a go as they go into turn five. Tries to slot in behind the McLaren. Now Mercedes power against Honda power. Who's got the advantage? DRS for Roman Grosjean. We haven't seen any overtaking yet. We might get in now, everybody. Here comes Roman Grosjean into turn seven. Passes Mark Fernando Alonso. The undercut works only just though Alonso put up a brilliant fight there yeah close stuff Fiat of course had to use a set of super softs in Q1 yesterday so he doesn't have a new set for the race oh and that's a contact Hulkenberg and coming out of the pits the Williams and Hulkenberg is out of this race Massa didn't do anything wrong stayed within the white lines here in Singapore as the safety car pulls away and at full speed the cars pelt and uh, accelerate down towards turn one and Vettel's got to try and charge and open up a gap once again he survived this safety car restart he's done it once or twice here in Singapore before and there's a massive gap isn't there between Fernando Alonso and Pastor Maldonado who rather looked like he was caught napping yeah oh and look it's in neutral Martin as that's, that, that'll be why Pastor Maldonado was so far back then. Vettel's backing up. Ricciardo, I think. We've got a race on our hands here. 
It is not one-way traffic after the safety car restart for Sebastian Vettel. And it's not going to be easy for Daniel Ricciardo here as well, because if he does mount a challenge and make a mistake, well, Raikkonen's there to get, to, to get him. Well, Lewis's view is that uh, he thinks he's trying to back him into his teammate so uh, Raikkonen can get through. So he's actually intentionally going slow. Okay, we're looking. Hamilton has retired here before uh, with mechanical problems, of course, 2010 and 2012. Quick, guys, quick. We're, look, we're working on it, working on it. Yeah, he had a very slow middle sector on this lap, and it's a 155. So he. Uh, oh, and he's been overtaken by his teammate Rothberg into the first turn. Thinks you might have lost power, mate. Don't care. I still want to be in this championship. I'm going to try and get past you. Hamilton quickly swamped now by Danny Kvyat as well, in real trouble. Rosberg's ahead of him. Kvyat goes round into turn five. Okay, Lewis, so we see the throttle's not going to wide open the throttle. Is it the pedal? We can't see anything electrically. Well, I'm accelerating to full throttle, but it's just not going. The night is over for Lewis Hamilton, out on lap 34 of the Singapore Grand Prix. He was running in fourth place when his engine started to have a problem. What is this? There, just a man going for a stroll alongside the track. There, there, there is somewhere in the region. Tell the safety car to speed up a bit. Okay, copy. We're trying. We want you to save as much fuel as possible, and we need some hard braking events to keep the temperature in the front brakes. And Rob, Rob, you tell me you're about your head. All right, we can do this. Under braking a little further on, Grosjean behind him, his teammate Maldonado. Maldonado gets past Button. There is uh, Ericsson and Verstappen. Verstappen ahead there of Ericsson. Sainz still behind him. Button tries to have a little go and makes contact, does he, with Roman Grosjean. Grosjean goes wide, rejoins the track, still ahead. And now there's contact and there's debris flying all over the track. And Carlos Sainz runs straight into it. From Jensen, just got caught out, hit the throttle early. Maldonado in the way. I think that's probably... We've heard the frustration from Jensen on the radio all afternoon. I should have known, really, that he's mental. Yeah, uh, we'll have, a, have another look at it. It, it looked... Uh, Jensen said I should have known he was mental, but... Uh, so this is for, for position. Well, this is Verstappen and Maldonado. And now... Carlos Sainz forces Maldonado off the track, rejoins it. Sainz close to the wall. And he's got a great toe as well, hasn't he, Martin? Downhill braking zone into this turn 14. Grosjean puts the car as wide as he possibly can, but that's a great exit from Verstappen. He might have the inside line now, going into the next big braking zone. Verstappen moves up ahead of Grosjean. Where they've got the extra traction, the extra bite from those red mark super soft tyres. What could this Toro Rosso car do if it didn't have a Renault engine in the back? You, you do wonder. It's a lovely machine. It's down the inside. Into turn one goes Carlos Sainz. Roman Grosjean has to yield. Goes off the track. Here is the man leading the race with the fastest lap in this race as well. On course at the moment. For his third victory as a Ferrari driver. And his fourth victory on the streets of Singapore. OK, we need to swap positions. No. Max, just do it. Uh, newly upgraded Ferrari engine has kind of given them the same amount of horsepower uh, that Mercedes have been enjoying. He put in an absolutely stellar pole position lap uh, to start this race at the head of the field. And he has come here tonight to absolutely dominate this race. In the last six consecutive races, he has now won four Singapore Grand Prix. He's finished first or second in the last six years. The fireworks tonight are his as a winner, Sebastian Fett wins the Singapore Grand Prix. His former teammate, Daniel Ricciardo, comes home to take second place. Yes, you did it. You did it. Pole position, race lead from lap one. You great, you magic. Sei un campione, un campione. Grande step. Woohoo! Grazie, ragazzi. Grazie. Che giornata. Che giornata. Che dire. Che dire. Mi sentite? Forza Ferrari! For a fourth time in Singapore, Sebastian Vettel on top of the podium, drinking in the moment, but for the first time as a Ferrari driver here.